Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to design your talent job to interact with Azure storage services. Blob container is a storage service offered by Azure, right? And it's primarily used for, um, you know, forming a data lake. A data lake is a you know, collection of blobs, uh, which is no, nothing but a data files that are coming from different um, you know, or different sources, right? Which will uh, then be consumed and uh, used for data analysis purposes, right? So the Microsoft uh, Azure blob container storage is very much similar to S3 buckets in the form of uh, AWS you know, terminologies, right? So let's get started and look at uh, ways you can create the connections uh, perform get and put um, you know file operations and also list the bucket and we will see some of the uh, you know uh, daily use cases um, user using uh, the blob container so let's get started so before we move on to the uh, talent for connections I just want to um, you know log into my Azure portal and so this is basically the home page and when you go to um, the storage accounts so I have created a storage account called as learning with Rohan. So this is a storage account and within this storage account, you will be creating multiple containers, right? And each container can have one or more, uh, you know, folders. Uh, so in my case, um, learning with Rohan, uh, under that, uh, we have, um, you know, learning as the container. All right. So this is, um, the folder, uh, which contains one file uh, for now i uh, just um, you can also upload multiple using this in you know, upload button but uh, for now um, so this is the uh, kind of you know overview um, you know within the blob storage container right so on the talent side um, you will have all the you know blob related um, you know components azure storage container you know create delete list and there are two lists actually if you see uh, the first one is azure storage list which actually lists the blobs uh, that are uh, present in uh, the container uh, whereas the azure storage container list will actually list all the containers that are uh, present right so let's uh, look at um, and one more thing uh, to notice here is the connection component is actually under uh, the table so let's pull this uh, con uh, connection um, so there are two ways you can create the uh, Azure storage connection. The first one using the account key, um, providing the account name and the account key. So that is one type of connection. And the other connection type is Azure uh, you know, shared access signatures, right? Uh, Azure uh, portal gives us another uh, way to connect. It is more secure uh, way of doing it. I'll show you both uh, in this particular um, you know session. All right, so the account that I created is learning with Rohan. I added it and for the account key uh, you will have to get to uh, the portal and if you scroll down further you will get uh, access keys and if you see there are uh, two sets of keys uh, that are provided um, you know for uh, any uh, programmatic you know, approach right and also you have a way to you know rotate keys um, for a periodic time and the way uh, you, you know get the keys using show key button and all you have to do is just copy so now we have the keys uh, you know, copied over and let's go back to talent and let's put let's copy um, you know the key here all right so now the connection is full created all right so i have copied the key and the next step is to add the storage list so this will actually list all the blobs within the container Right, and what I'll do is I'll choose on sub job OK only when my connection is successful. I create this and let's uh, reuse the connection. And there are two ways, um, I mean, two, two steps actually to provide the container name. Uh, in my case, it's actually the learning, um, as you might have you know, observed. And there is a mandatory um, filter that we will have to supply, which is called blob filter. So we just have to create this, and if you uh, want to filter for a particular um, you know prefix you can actually add the prefix uh, so let's say if you want if you want to uh, take all the you know files starting with uh, s then uh, see it's starting with s right so by providing prefix uh, yes it will list all the blobs that are starting with s otherwise you can just leave it empty but uh, there has to be an entry for prefix otherwise the job will uh, you know fail 
all right so there is nothing under advanced settings um let's go ahead and run the job Alright, so the connection is successful and remember uh, the list component will not really um, print the uh, blobs so we will have to use tjava and since we will have multiple we'll choose a iterate option and connect to tjava so in this uh, we'll just go ahead and do a system dot out dot print line and we'll just put a name colon space and we'll have to you know add plus sign and then close it so this is the syntax for print line so in order to print the you know blob name what we will have to do is uh, from the azure storage uh, um, you know option uh, you will get current blob so this will list, list the actual uh, blob uh, name which is the file name right so let's copy this cut it and then paste it after the plus sign then let's go ahead and save the job and I'll run it again. All right, so we have one uh, file in the, um, you know, uh, on the container. So uh, I was able to print it. So this is how you will, um, you know, list the blobs. And let's say if you want to create a new container, uh, you can actually use this. All right, let me go ahead and, you know, deactivate and we will give the connections to uh, we'll create a new connection okay so this will actually create the new uh, container so all we have to do is just add this uh, container name in my case let's give learning with rohan you know one and you can actually set the access control to private or public so private means only this particular account can perform any get and put operations if you make it public, uh, anybody uh, using this container can, um, you know, perform any uh, file operations. So let me make it come uh, public and now I'm going to save it and run the job. Okay, so now we have created another, um, you know, container here and inside that, um, so currently it is empty. Now let's do one thing. Uh, we will make use of f uh, storage put component and uh, we will connect okay anyways we have already created the you know container so there's no use of um, you know creating it again so we will just directly connect to uh, the put operation and for this put uh, we'll make use of an existing connection and we will have to specify the uh, container name so I just created this uh, learning with Rohan one and local folders. You can give, um, you know, stocks. Let's say, actually, let me go ahead and pick the files. Okay. I'll, I'll choose this stock folder, which is the local folder where I have um, the files present, right? And uh, now I'll have to uh, specify the Azure storage folder. So let's do the stocks and let's go ahead and uh, run the job. Okay, so the job is now completed and let's go back to, uh, okay, so this is the new container. Let's do a refresh. See, there is a new folder that is created and under that, you will have all the files so on my local i had a stocks folder under that i had five different uh, files so this is how uh, you can actually do um, you know put operation and very similarly you can perform get operations as well uh, to bring the file from um, you know the container to our local now I'll show you the second way of connection. Uh, just double click on the connection components and instead of you know, providing the account key, uh, let's make use of uh, the Azure uh, shared access signature. So the value for this shared access signature actually comes from Azure portal. And if you scroll down further, uh, you will have, yeah, this is the option shared access signature. So under that, uh, you will have to specify by default it's selected 
just want to make sure that uh, you select the blob and um, just make um, you know service and container and object and you can generate the key right once you generate the key you will have something called as blob storage sas url so this is what we need for a uh, second view of connection right uh, all i'm doing is generating and pasting it here and that's it now let me go ahead and uh, run the job all right so uh, list component has listed on all the files that we recently uploaded